Now we're gonna have one more performance from Team Disciple. So please put up the numbers that someone's gonna go. Alright. And the representative is Mr. Richard Hayes. Dear audience, I want to write a poem about the classroom geek and the bullies he labels his friends. I want to write a poem about suicide, loading my words into the chamber. I want to write a poem about being 5'11", 142 pounds, pale, scrawny, emotional, and not too ready for life. I want to write life. I want you to see that my mother has always been there for me through agnostic conversions and Saturday detentions, through running away and walking away, through overpriced hobbies I gave up the next day, and through trying to tie all these things together when we weren't okay. I try to make her proud, but when you're pale, scrawny, emotional, and not too ready for life, there's not too much to tell the girlfriends during happy hour, so I keep on writing. I want you to see that my father has always been there for me through the cliche I hate yous and the more creative insults. He watches me climb the staircase he had no part in constructing, and I have very few strong proofs of God, but I can tell you that there must have been a greater being who blessed me with a friend worthy more than any number one spot on my space top. So everyone give it up to him, because he made it past the age that his father passed, and he doesn't plan on going anywhere anytime soon. I keep on writing. I want you to see that she is trying to always be there for me. She told me to wake up and smell the overpriced Starbucks coffee, because no one's going to hand over your life, and dependency is a sin. So I better keep writing. Not for her, and not even for me. I keep writing because I've given up on my life, but maybe I can change yours. I'm not writing this poem as an act. This is not a stage. I'm not in costume, and this is not a accent. I heard the other day that someone wrote a poem after reading my work. I heard that Nova High School has spent over $900 to come your poetry. If half of you are in here for extra credits, bless your souls. You've been given the chance at a revelation. Tell me your life story, but only once you poeticized it, because I don't want to be filled with vice cliches. The only time I ever plan on stop writing is the day I walk the halls hearing students recite poetry to peers, when I know that lives will never be the same because, the, because of the equation of which I substituted variables for words. The day English classes get a little less boring, and we all fail the FCAS because we were taught to think when we write. The day history classes start having more intelligent conversations rather than me staring at a blank array of words I call notes. The day science... Well, there's not, like, nothing I can do about that. <laughs> this is not a metaphor. I'm not speaking in the foreign tongue of poetry, but I'm asking you all to, because if, if I couldn't write my life, I want to help others write theirs.